Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. In today's video, we are going to talk about the latest updates concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players, which includes Mohamed Kudus, Abdul Fatah Shahako, Joseph Pinto, and also the Black Stars. They are going to play two games in September. We are going to take a look at those games in the Afghan qualifiers amongst many others. So guys, please make sure to like this video, subscribe, and also turn on notification. And please watch this video till the end. I'm going to tell you about our giveaway for this particular month. So guys, quickly, let's jump into it and talk about Mohamed Kudus. Mohamed Kudus is fit, he's happy, playing pre-season for West Ham, hoping that come next season, he can improve on his performance from last season. Last season, one thing made Mohamed Kudus popular was his goal celebration. His goal celebration was everywhere. It made Mohamed Kudus very, very, very popular. Now, in an interview, Mohamed Kudus talked about his goal celebration and the new goal celebration he's coming up with come next season. Let's check out the interview. You seem like someone that has a lot of personality and I've seen it a bit off camera, so I know you've got the personality in you <laughs> and even when you play. Talk to us about your goal celebration. <laughs> Tell us about that, that famous celebration that you do. <laughs> what does it mean and why did you do that celebration? Honestly, when it started, it was just, I see the game as an entertainment. So just like how you see and how I play, you know, I try to leave a mark to always put a stamp in the head of the fans for something for them to remember, you know. So I just thought about what can I do to, to, to make it stand out, to make it a bit different, you know. And we are going to add more spice to it next season. Oh, ah, more spice. Yeah. Give, give, me, give us an insight. Oh, I need nah, to know, nah, is it nah, King Kudus? Nah, Come nah. on. You can't tell me you can add more spice to it. <laughs> Definitely watch out for it. So guys, you have heard from Mohamed Kudus. He says they are going to spice things up come next season when it comes to the goal celebration. If you think you have seen it all, guess what? It's going to be different. He started by sitting on the ad board, that's the advertisement board, and then went on to sit on plastic chair. He says he's going to spice it up come next season. He didn't definitely say what he was going to do when he scores a goal for his celebration. But then, trust me, if Mohamed Kudu says he's going to spice it up, I just can't wait for him to score a goal in the APL. I just want to see that goal celebration. Now, he did not end, just end there. I mean, they asked him about, you know, foods. Favorite food, beat for food, beat Banku. And I mean, this is how that went. So let's check it out together. We're going to play a game called this or that. So we're going to go first. Ghanaian jollof uh -huh. rice or Nigerian jollof rice? Ghanaian, of course. <laughs> Ghanaian jollof rice? Yeah. Okay. Gobe or wacheka? I say wache. Wache? Yeah. Boiled yam or fried yam? Fried yam. Yeah? Yeah. Kenke or Banku? Ooh, that's a hard one. Um, I'll see Banku, yeah. So guys, if you have heard from Robert Kudus, he has talked about food, the Banku, the Fufu, the Wachi and everything. He also talked about his goal celebration. Also, West Ham's last preseason game is against Celta Vigo. After that, their next game is in the EPL. So guys, we are going to follow up on this and bring you more updates concerning Robert Kudus live here on Sports for GH. Now, moving away from Robert Kudus, let's talk about Abdul Fatah Shahapu. That boy is a happy boy. He's really happy to be playing the EPL with Leicester City. Now, Leicester City posted this on their socials about Fatah Shahapu. Let's check it out together. Yeah, I'm taking over Matt. <laughs> So Charlie, Charlie, let me head. But that is happy day. He's a happy boy. He's very, very happy. And I mean, now that Stinger Man Kelechi is not in the club, we need to sell one fatal can be doing his thing with his content creation with. And I'm just hoping that Leicester City sells the move for, for Jordan Ayu because looking at the way Jordan Ayu uniform up banner in preseason. This is the right time to make the move to Leicester City. As simple as that. You should go in and replace Kalechi and Yachu at Leicester City. I'll be very happy if that happens, in my own opinion. But then for Abdul Fatah Shahaku, he looks like a happy boy. He's full of confidence. We saw what he did in the championship last season. Come next season in the EPL, I'm hoping that he improves on his performance. He gives us that same performance or more than that because the EPL is a larger platform than the championship because most people watch the EPO, so we are Dika, everybody will notice you. So I'm just hoping that, I mean, for Abdul Fatah Shahako, he built on his confidence, performs very well, more assists, more chances created, more goals for him. He brings that performance and also confidence into the Black Stars because September, we have some job to do. We have to unmark some people in September, which is very important. So, guys, that is the update concerning Abdul Fatah Shahako. Now, let's move away from that 
and talk about Joseph Pinto. Um, he's playing in the MLS with LA Galaxy. And over the weekend, he scored his ninth goal for LA Galaxy. This is a player who is on serious form in the MLS. Doing so, so much, scoring goals, giving assists here and there. And I'm happy for Joseph Pinto. If you take a look at the goal he scored, you can see it on your screen. What you know say? The awareness was there. Anticipation was there. Decision making was there. As a player, these are things you need. And Joseph Pinto, per the video we are all watching right now, he has it in our band. That's looking at the way he converted that goal. Being at the right place at the right time, that is all that matters in the game of football. So we just have been told with his performance in the MLS. We hope that September, when the call up is out, Joseph Pinsel's name will be there. Because if it's not there, we will vex. Wow. Some of us, they will vex. <laughs> but then, just the hope, see, he named the day inside. Because if he named the day inside, that we know, say, yeah, Joseph Pinsel, he named the day inside. As simple as that. That is all we, 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 we they want. As simple as that. So, guys, that is the latest update concerning Joseph Pinto. He played against Guadalajara. Yes, that is the team he played against, Guadalajara. And he scored a goal against them over the weekend. Now, let's move away from all this and talk about the Black Stars. In September, the Black Stars are going to begin their campaign in the Afghan qualifiers. Now, you already know we're in group with Angola, with Niger, with Sudan. And it's imperative that we qualify to the AFCON, which will be hosted in Morocco 2025. And now our first game is against Angola. You can see some of the details live here on your screen. I'm going to read it out very quickly. It's on Thursday, 5th September, 4 p.m. at the Babayara Sports Stadium. Hot afternoon. And I'm going to make it a point to be in Kumasi myself. I'm going to be in Kumasi myself to bring you updates concerning this particular one. So Charlie, if you are watching this and you are not subscribed yet, no lose God. Make sure to subscribe because by September the year, I will I'll bring I'll bring Kumasi to you. you. You don't need to worry yourself. Me, I'll bring Kumasi to you. Life here sports called at GH. So that will happen on Thursday, 5th September, 4 p.m. at the Barbara Sports Stadium. And our next game would be on Monday, 9th September against Niger. And that will also be played 4 p.m. at the Stand Municipal de Barkeni. That is where that game will be played. So, guys, you can see all the details live here on your screen. These are winnable games for the Black Stars. We don't want to hear excuse. Otuado, you have set the standard. Uba and we need two games. You have set the standard. Uba and Uwabe come back, back to back. What sets the standard? No. We know you can do it. The players can do it. There is a whole new conviction amongst these players. For whether Andre and you get to come back to the squad or not, that one is the coach's choice. But then, for these two games, we want to see some crazy performances from the Black Stars. Oh dear, oh, you will not play nice with Bokrana. Just win the game for us. Against Angola, we need to win convincingly. This Baba has us today. We can't lose. It's, it's not, it's, we can't lose. It's for news, Apple. We can't lose. Against Niger. Niger, they are, Niger is the team that we, we have to, any team will score. So, and Niger, they, are, they, are, they have to connect three. Three. And I trust Jordan that he's going to do the job because in the last game the Black Star played, he banged in three goals, he scored a hat trick. So I believe he can do that job. And we have seen the Black Stars, you know, quite often it's, you know, have solved their goal scoring problem. Everybody's scoring, Fata is scoring, Jordan is scoring, we say, we say, so I'm just happy with that. So, guys, this is the latest update I have for you concerning Ghanaian and Black Star players. Life here on Sports Corner GH. My name is Sedem. But before I close today's video, let's talk about the giveaway. Now, this month's giveaway is going to be different because we want to let the giveaway reach a lot of people. So, 10 people are going to get airtime from us by the end of the month. All you have to do, you know, at the regular, comment under this video and any other video we drop here on Sports Corner GH. Engage almost all our videos, comment, like, we watch them. And then at the end of the month, if you're part of the top 10 commenters, you stand a chance of winning a free airtime. The airtime ranges from 100 cities and above. I know it is not enough or it's not too much, but then airtime in this country is very expensive. Bundle is very expensive. So for you to use your bundle to watch you at them, I'm grateful because, Charlie, you know, everybody where you could go YouTube, yeah? You will see your video, then you click on it and watch. But then for you to do that for me, I'm grateful. You are part of the family now. I see you for a time, you call me. Oh, and then I will respond. You understand? So, it's just my way, my little way of giving back to, you know, the viewers. So, please, 10 people would stand a chance of winning airtime, which will range from 100 cities and above. 
all you have to do is be very active on Sports Corner GH. Support the channel. We grow with you together. As we grow with you together. As simple as that. As I said, if you see me in town, just call me. Charlie, me, I still take Trotro. So if you see me in Trotro, call me. I see you. I will pay your money for you. As simple as that. Sure, as simple as that, but guys, I'm just kidding. So please be part of our giveaway. Ten viewers would end you no know, free airtime, hundred CDs and above. I just hope you also win at the end of the month. My name is Adam. I'm mission to see you in the next one. Charlie, we will ride.